Ah, Chris, let's start off with this one. The playoff board, the college football playoff board, has decided that they are not going to vote next week to expand. They have said they are going to push this a little further down the road because they had a meeting in, I believe it was Dallas, on Wednesday. And in that meeting, or it may have been Tuesday, either way, it was earlier this week, but they came out and said, hey, yeah, we don't agree on anything right now. And it is just another example of when people get their feelings hurt, they let that kind of crap stand in the way of what is best for their actual leagues or for the actual sport, and it drives me insane. Uh, give me give me your thoughts on what's going on here. Yeah, I want them to expand the playoff. I think they should expand the playoff. I want it to happen right now. There has to be a way to expand it and not give it to ESPN because I honestly believe that's all that's holding this up. Is there's enough people that don't want ESPN to have the entire thing, but right now, because I think the way the contract might be worded, ESPN owns the playoff now, so if they went from 4 to 12, they would get it all, and I think it would be really hard to take it away from them. And so I want to make sure that Fox, CBS, NBC, anyone else that wants to have their hand in this, gets their hand in it because that's how you get more money for these schools. Yes, because if you have them involved in the playoff, then once it comes time for them to actually invest in the regular season by showing these te- or these uh, conferences games, then they are more willing to to spend that money to actually do that. And and I understand where they're coming from, but it drives me insane that at this point they can't decide between 12 and 8. They can't decide exactly what the auto bids are going to look like. They, they can't decide on anything right now. And a lot of this has to do with Greg Sankey. Of course, I'm not going to say going behind Bob Bowlesby's back, but the four guys that were working on this in private for a long time, one of them was, was busy taking two of the premier teams or schools from the other one's conference. It's not that Sankey was necessarily doing it you know, in secret or anything like that. But a lot of people think that they should have been involved when it was just a four-man committee. And and again, I see where they're coming from. But at the end of the day, just because you don't like the way that it came to that result doesn't mean that you can't like the result. The result of a 12-team playoff with the six automatic bids for conference champions, whoever the six highest ranked are, and then six at largest is best for all of these conferences, and I don't understand how they don't agree on that. Do you, do you kind of feel the same way? Yeah, I can't figure out how the smaller co- – everybody but the SEC should love this. Everybody but the SEC should love this. And, and even the SEC should love it. I mean, in all honesty, well, because yeah, they will get the real four. The SEC shouldn't love it, but right now the SEC is dominating the four, so they don't care. Well, like, it's a, yeah, like, the SEC said, or Greg Sankey said, we can stay at four. I'm fine with that because, remember, they are the only conference that's actually gotten two in the four-team playoff. Well, the ACC technically got it last year because Notre Dame joined the ACC for the COVID year. Good call. But Good call. Yeah. But that yes. gets an asterisk because, that yeah, that was a one-year thing, and they're not, they're not a member of the ACC anymore, so. Yes, you are correct about that. So, yeah, it's this is entering the eighth season of a 12-year contract. It runs through 2025, so starting in 2026, we should see some kind of a new deal, some kind of an expansion. Uh, but at this point, uh, we, we are now delayed. We will not be getting a vote next week. Uh, it was supposed to be uh, all of the conference commissioners, etc., and a lot of the, the voters that are presidents and chancellors, and... Next week, it is now just going to be uh, a Zoom meeting, but uh, but all of the commissioners and Jack Swarbrick, the Notre Dame athletic director, they're still going to meet in Chicago next week, and the presidents and chancellors are going to meet via Zoom uh, for all or or even just part of it. So, you know, we're <laughs> they're just going to sit and talk again, spend some more money, and and do whatever for a little while, and and maybe they'll come up with something. But my guess is it, it's still a little ways off until. Maybe the rest of the landscape of college football kind of settles down. So we shall see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.